Yes, boys, we're back. Okay. Ooh, new tool day. So this is the Ultium 3-star WXM Leashy Style Pick from UK Lock Pickers. Okay. Now, I'm really excited about this tool because it solves a problem, basically. So if you've seen the N-Super, you will see that the flag is on this side. So it'll always pit better anti-clockwise. This always, every single time. And it's because of the way the flag's positioned. In fact, it looks like someone's brought my tool there, which they have. Little wankers, okay. Um, now, this one, the flag is on the opposite side, so it's actually gonna pick better clockwise, which, you know, if you have both, you're fucking living the dream. Uh, much like any leashy style two and ones, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check bouncing pins and bound pins, all right? And you're gonna see how I deal with zero lift pins, all right? With basic pins that do not need picking. Okay, so, insert in, I can do, go on separate. I'm watching a read side, trying to fuck a door knob. Okay. There we go. Right, so what I'm going to do, light tension, and then I'm just going to test each pin. All right, so I'm going to test one, and one is bouncing away. Lovely. Now, two, this is definitely a zero lift pin. So as I go over the top of two, you can see it's already pushing my pick tip that way, but it's got a bit of spring to it, all right? So I know I'm leaving that alone. I ain't fucking touching that. Okay. Go to three. Now three is our first binder, okay? So there's no spring to it, it's dead. So ease of tension a fraction. There you go, and a bit of rotation, okay? And now I'm just gonna test three again. Lovely little bit of spring, okay? And then we're gonna do the same one. Four, five feels springy, six feels springy. Back to the beginning, okay? Get to one, now one is suddenly dead, okay? Now, it was the Brian who does Lock Lab 101 that's taught me this. So in position one, they do seem to have a lot of serrated pins. So you're gonna see a few clicks on there. So there, you hear that, and it's still not set. Still not set. There, now it's set, and now it's springy, okay? Fight past two, I'm leaving two of well the fuck alone. Three is bound back up. Give that a little click. A bit more rotation in the core. I'm gonna go to four, test that, five, test that, six. Got a tiny click out of six. Back to the beginning, we're gonna test one. Feels all right. Two, three, go to four. Four is now bound up, which is a good sign. Ease off. Oh, it's a deep one. It's a deep one. There you go. So you can see how deep I went with that one. Four is now bouncing. Five, bound up. So, oh. And there we go. Smash the absolute fucking back doors out of that lot. Let me just turn. Okay, so that's lock number one. So you can pretty much work out which ones are the zero lifts. So, now, the problem with thumb turns, all right? So this can be picked, okay? This can be picked. But... Thumb turns, spools, they do present a bit of a fucking problem, but we're masters of our own fate. So you'll see that when I insert the tool, it wants to spit it back out, if that makes sense. So while you're picking, you do have to keep forward pressure on the cylinder, okay? If that makes sense. Otherwise, your spacings will be out. So I'm going to go to number one. That's bouncing away nicely. Two, bouncing away. Three, bouncing away. Four is our first binder, okay? So just ease off the frax. Come on. Come on. There you go. Little click, little rotation. I'm just going to check it now. Yeah, it's got a bit of spring to it. Go to five. That's springing. Six is springing away. Let's get back to the beginning. One is now our binder. So still not picked. Oh, let's test it. Have you got a bit of spring or not? So they are delicate tools, but... And then my tool came out, so I do make sure you are... Ah, there it was. Just needed a little final thing, and now it's bouncing. Let's go to two. Two's bound. Come on. I think we've set two now. Let me just check. Nope. Yeah, click out of two. That's springing, one springing, three, four, five's now our binder. Just gonna give that a little 
Oh, a bit of rotation. Go on. Have I set you? Feels like I have. Five bouncing. Oh, six. Back to the beginning. One bouncing. Two bouncing. Three bouncing. Four bouncing. It must be five. Oh. Five now spring. Oh. Six. Oh. Let's have a look. Oh, that's a fucking tough one. You can see I'm struggling to get over it. Let's have a look. Oh. That feels like a serrated one. Hey. Oh. Now then. Now then. So you can see I've gone into a deep, deep false set. So we're going to have to fucking contend with a spool pin now. One. Two. It's number three. Now, unlike flags, you're not going to be able to like get your counter rotation. So we're going to have to do it manually. If I can do. Come on. You mucky little bastard. Come on. Oh. 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 So I've dropped a few pins now. But I've got three set. So I'm all right. I'm all right. Two. Three. Four. And he's picking again. Come on. Four set. Five knees picking again. I can see the lot wants to go. And six knees picking again. Come on. Hey! Got the fucking lock, boys. Got the fucking lock. All right? Oh, have we? Have we? Have I got myself jammed up? Oh, yeah, we have. <laughs> it's because the thumb turns stuck there, you fucking idiot, sir. One second. One second. Yeah, of course we've got the lock. I was fucking having a retard moment for a second there. But there you go, guys. The uh, UK lock pickers, WXM, two in one. Absolutely beautiful. But don't mind for him. He's fucking backed up with orders. Take care.